Hi everyone, it's me, Bill. In my last video, I discussed the theoretical operation of a repeater. How it takes your signal on one frequency and retransmits it on a second frequency. This time, I want to show you how to make an inexpensive repeater on your own using nothing more than a couple of old Balfang radios or any other radio you might have laying around. So, let's get into it. So last week I spoke about what a repeater does, and this week I want to talk about how it actually does it. So first thing we're going to do is, when we picture our repeater, let's just think of it as two walkie-talkies, or two radios, or two handy-talkies, whatever you want to call them. The one radio is set to just receive on whatever frequency you set it to. So very simple, just like any other radio you've ever had, you have it set to receive. The second radio, you have to turn on your Vox setting. And what Vox does is Vox listens, and as soon as it hears a sound, it starts transmitting automatically. It's why when you see astronauts on the moon, they don't have to hit a press to talk button in order to communicate. Their radio is always listening, and as soon as it hears them talk, it instantly starts transmitting back to NASA. The Vox setting on your Baofeng is menu item number four. So you'll select menu, You'll select menu. four, you select menu again, and then the up arrow takes you one. from Vox off to Vox one. Confirm. Sensitivity on Vox is set between one and 10, with one being the most sensitive and 10 being the least sensitive. You will probably need to play around a little bit in order to figure out what setting works best for you. For today's example, I'm just going to set it to one so it's the most sensitive, so it's most likely to work. So the other thing I want to do is change the frequency on my second radio so it is offset from the first radio. The offset amount, like we discussed in the previous video, can be any number you want. However, typically it's 0.6 megahertz or 5 megahertz, or like I said, it can be any other number in there. Since our receive frequency is 145 megahertz, Therefore, our transmit frequency on the second radio will be 145.6 megahertz. Now we have to connect these two radios, and what we want to do is connect a wire from the headphones out on our receive radio and plug that into the microphone in on the transmit radio. I purchased a repeater connector designed specifically for this. It's available on Amazon. I'll put an affiliate link down below. If you select any of those affiliate links, I can get a small commission out of it. I also have affiliate links for the radios and the antennas and everything else down there. So what this device does is it allows me to plug one end into one radio, the other end into my transmit radio, and it communicates along beautifully. Some people choose to create that wire on their own. If that's something you want to do, you'll need two different size jacks. And there are a lot of very helpful videos out there that can show you how to do that. So this is what the rig actually looks like. This is my receive radio. You can see it's set to 145.000 megahertz. This is my transmit radio. You can see it's set to 145.600 megahertz. You can also see at the top here, it says Vox. All right, so let's try this out. This is my connector. The next thing we need to do is program our radio to work with our repeater. We said that we were going to receive on 145.6, so. 145.600. Zero, zero. Okay, the next thing we need to do is set our offset. Menu. 25. This is shift up, up or down, so we'll say menu. Frequency direct. Negative. Menu to confirm. confirm. And then number 26 is our offset amount. Our offset amount is 0.6. Offset frequency. Zero. Zero, zero, six, zero, zero. Confirm. And now when we look at the radio, it's listening on 145.6. And if we hit the press to talk, it transmits on 145.000. And that'll work with our repeater. So here we go with our test. You can see this radio is set for a 145.000. And when I press the push to talk, it transmits at 145.600. And when you look down here, when I hit press to talk, this guy receives the signal 
sends it to this guy who resends it out and it's received on this guy at 145 600. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. So that's our basics on how to set up a repeater. The hardware is pretty simple, pretty inexpensive. Like I said, I'll put affiliate links down below. If you do want to build one of these, you probably want to have it in a nice container, maybe waterproof it, maybe set it up with extended batteries and have a uh, solar charger on it. I hope in a future video that I can do that and show it to you guys and we all get a kick out of it. Really appreciate you watching if you've watched this far into the video. Thank you so much and uh, we'll see you next time. Good luck and have fun. Hi everyone, it's me, Bill. Tonight we're going to talk about repeating. Oh, got a call coming, better get that. Hello, you're on the air. Oh, hi Bill. First time in a long time. Hey, in your last video, you talked about how a repeater works. I was wondering if in this video, could you show me how to build a repeater? Well, yeah, sure. That's that's actually what we're going to do today. I, I, we're going to do it right now, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's great. Say, listen, you look what? really familiar. Any chance we're related? Oh, no. Because I have hair and you're bald. <laughs> <laughs>